Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit a module layout in Soho CRM. Let's start. Alright, I'm already in the setup page of Soho CRM and I'm going to click here where it says module and fields. And for this example we're going to edit the context module layout, but you can edit any other module. So we're just going to click on the module and we already have a layout that normally is going to be called standard. So you can create a new layout from scratch with this button right here, or you can edit the one that's already created. In this case, I'm gonna edit the one that is already created, but you can create your own. So before editing this one, I'm gonna clone it. So just hover here and click on clone layout. And we're gonna give it a name. And we're gonna click on save. And for now, we're just gonna click here on save. All right, so let's go back. And now we have the standard layout and the clone one. This is a good practice in case you need to recover information after you edited the standard layout. So for now, we are also gonna turn this one off. And here we're just gonna select standard and click on deactivate now. Like I said, this is a good practice and it's gonna help you if you need to recover any information that you delete from the module that you're editing. All right, so now let's click on standard to edit it. And here we have the editing page. On the left side, we have all the field options and in the center, we have the actual layout. So to add a field, the only thing you have to do is drag and drop the field. So let's do that. I'm gonna add a URL and you just hover over the place where you wanna put it and just drop it there. And now you're gonna name it and press enter. And if you want to rename it, you can just click on the field and rename it. You can also click on these three dots to see settings about this field. For example, you can mark it as required if this is a field that it's really important for your company. You can also set permissions, meaning that you can select which profiles can see or edit this field. And finally, you can also click here where it says edit properties. Each field type has different properties. In this case, we are seeing the URL field type properties. So here you can change the name as well and change other settings. And you can even show a tooltip. So let's see that. And we can type what we wanna show. All right, let's click on done. Now we can check this field. This is a pick list. So if I click here, I can see all the options and we're gonna go to the properties. And because it is a pick list option, you can see all the different options right here. And you can also change the position and you can even add new options with this plus button. Or you can click on the minus and you can delete the option. For this particular field, you can enable tracking for pick list values meaning that every time anyone changes this field, then the CRM is gonna track that and it's gonna let you know when it was changed. Okay, here we're gonna click on cancel. And let's add another field. In this case, we're gonna add a user. And let's name it. And I'm gonna click on done. So this particular fields allow you to select users in the CRM. You can also add sections. Sections are these boxes that can hover over and they separate the information or organize the information a little bit better. So just drag and drop the new section here and then you can also name it and uh, add fields. To add a new field, you can do it from the left panel or you can also grab a field that it's already here, for example, this one, and place it in a new section. You can also move fields back where they were and if you want to delete a section, just click on this wheel and click on delete. And to delete a field, just click here and click on remove field. And in this box, we can click on delete permanently. If you delete a field that was in use already, then the field is going to go to this panel that's called unused fields. In case you need it in the future. But if you want to completely delete the field, just hover over the field and click on this trash can. In this case, this field is a standard field and cannot be deleted. This means that it's a system field, but you can delete fields that you created. All right, now let's click on save and close. 
and let's add a new contact. As you can see, this field that we just added, the Facebook profile, is here and it has a tooltip right here. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Soho CRM on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.